little bit of arc length today, help you out on your Delta math. Uh, one thing you need to know is what in the world it is talking about. When it gives you this M and that symbol there, that's talking about the measure of an angle. So I'm talking about the measure of angle H, J, K. So find point H, trace it to point J, then to point K. So what this is talking about is this angle right here. Anytime you see that symbol right there, with the M and that little uh, thing there, that's the angle it's looking for that. So that measure is 66 degrees here on the inside. And then it's also talking about um, HJ. HJ is six units. So you put a six there and that is six units. So 66 degrees between those two, six units. Here we go. So to solve this, what I need to do is I need to remember the circumference of a circle is the distance all the way around. It would be 2 pi r, which in this case would be 2 pi times 6, since um, that hj is my radius of the circle. Now, this time though, since I'm not looking for the entire circle, I'm only looking for the length of that arc. In other words, I'm only looking for this distance right here, not all the way around, but only that distance there. Sorry for the sloppiness on my pen drawing there. And then what I'm going to have is I'm going to need to multiply by the fraction of the circle that is. All the way around the circle is 360 degrees, and the distance around uh, that little arc is 66 degrees. So I have 66 out of 360 times 2 pi 6. Now this one they want to the nearest hundred. So we're going to pull up Desmos and type in that into Desmos. So here we go. I've got my Desmos linked here. So I'm going to do 66 divided by 360 times my 2 pi, and I can use the pi symbol, or if you're using a keyboard, you can just type in pi and it gives you the pi symbol, and then multiply that by my radius of 6. So that gives me 6.911 hundredth is two zeros, so two decimal places, it's 6.91 should be your answer. So I've got an answer of 6.91.